Hello everyone. This is David down here with the fish in the basement and I wanted to show you my latest uh, Infusoria Paramecium experiment. I took some water out of the rain barrel and that was back on as you can see 1023 and I put in an alfalfa pellet. Got a 50 pound bag of horse feed alfalfa pellets. Uh, gonna put it out in the garden. It's about you know a mild set of fertilizers and and some good stuff to break down for the worms and I plop this in today's November 1st you can see that was on October 23rd so in there were 31 days so that's eight nine days and you can see what this looks like so we're gonna take this little pipette here where is it take this pipette and we're gonna come right over here into this little spot right there and get us a drop okay, you can watch what I'm doing and do this at the same time and we're going to put that drop uh, it's got an air bubble in it of course I'm going to put that drop right there now we're going to carry it over see what it looks like under the microscope All right, I've showed you the, the video on the microscope of what was in this first jar here. This is a second jar set up the same day. I wanted to show you what, there's my little alfalfa pellet. Just a little pressed piece of uh, alfalfa. You know, and I just plopped it in. Uh, it's pressed pretty hard, so as you can see, it gets pretty big. So, I'm gonna come up in here and grab another little piece and let's see what's in this other jar here I am pull out a drop put it right there and we'll go check it under the microscope Well, after a month, we can certainly tell that we still have a truly, truly useful culture. 
that would still feed an awful lot of baby fish. The really good part is, is that a nice big turkey baster scoop of that into some fresh water that has one another one of these alfalfa cubes would get a new culture off to a fantastic start. In fact, I just happen to have one that I haven't really filled up all the way yet. And check it out. It's only that much and you can see it's already got plenty of color to it. So this one is going to be a continuation of this culture into here. I just need to add some more water. It's been raining and cold, so I really haven't ventured outside to do that. been worried about other things. So the alfalfa pellets seem to be the best material I've found so far for getting a nice month-long, long-term culture going of a ready supply of, of a variety of infusoria and paramecium to feed really small fish. Uh, this would be something for you to, to consider. Uh, I'll keep looking for new and different ways to do it because this should be something that all of us can do because we always have little tiny little fish that spawn that we need a first food for. It doesn't matter if it's betas, killifish, any of your tetras, your barbs, they all got the little tiny mouths and they would just love something that's easy to eat. So. I want to thank you for watching it this far. If you will, please subscribe. It tells me and other people that this was a decent video and that I put up some good stuff. Uh, click the like button and I think there's a notification bell or something for when my next video goes up. So once again, I really do appreciate you subscribing. This is David with the Fish Down in the Basement.